a different mask. Either that or you're, you're like, you're, you have jaundice or something. That's the worst jaundice I'll ever fucking experience. <laughs> I hope so, man. <laughs> I've had jaundice that wasn't this bad before. <laughs> Brother, it's your own honey. Choose, or is he just gonna buy it? Cause it, well, I'll buy it because it's the first one. Wait, are we still in the same lobby? Are you watching the cutscene right now? Because I am. I am I not. Am I'm outside. How did he dodge, did he dodge the cutscene? It just told me my pay cut was, uh, like, uh, 78,000. That's not bad. It is kind of bad, actually. <laughs> what? What was it supposed to be? No, I mean, I don't know, no, that, it's not like there's supposed to be, it's just that that's a lot of work to get $70,000. I mean, even for me, it's a lot of work to get 400000 I got 60,000! <laughs> the vehicle acquired can now be sold. Why did I get 60,000? It's close to it's close to 80. No, it's not! Why did you get to... more than me? Oh, shit. Confirmed. Confirmed. I don't choose the payments, dude, I'm sorry. Maybe I just did more. Check, uh, check and see how much I you have. I just got 50,000. I told me how much I got. <laughs> Maybe they account for race. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. What does this God. mean? What is the game? What do I gain from salvaging parts instead of something? It's oh just God. less money. <laughs> I still... GTA salvage. No, I know it's a. Oh, I'm going through it. I was looking it up. Oh, okay. Okay. So. Um, it's really dumb, actually. So when you sell it, you have one, you have to do one more mission where you deliver the car. Versus, uh, if you salvage it, you don't have to risk it, like, getting destroyed by random players. This is but, a small lobby. but the thing is, also, is that... You can also just go into an invite-only session and do this mission. <laughs> uh -huh. It kind of sucks that they know their community is so bad that they have to have an anti-griffing method that just like, makes it worse in every way. So, uh, are you inviting us to another mission? Or are you uh, keeping it? Uh, um, no, I mean, I can't keep it. I hope I could keep it.
<coughs> fucking. <coughs> and of course, I don't think that I can actually like swap with this and buy a different salvage here at first. For a smaller price, so I have to deal with this one. I guess, I mean, should I sell it right real quick? It's really not a great deal, regardless, so. Whatever, I will sell. I will just deliver it in an invite only session or something. I won't risk it. That's stupid. Like the legend of the penis. All ends with the penis. We are The that bounty from the guy that killed you earlier, I like just got claimed. Yay. Fine car you got there. Oh yeah. Sorry, did you invite me? What? I thought I didn't know if you were inviting me to invite only session, sorry. Oh, did you want me to? I didn't know if I were going to do it right now. No, you can, do it. you can do it. You bitch. Alright, man. I was going to hop in your car and you just jumped away. Alright, well, to be safe, hold on, I'll set up an invite only session and add you guys, and then I'll sell this. That was the fastest for a session switch ever. It's really fast when you have to load in there. Alex, say, say a famous catchphrase. Dude, you don't want to know the first one that pops in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. do 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 <laughs> uh, hold on, what does the Camilla Harris says? What can be unburdened by what has been? Wait, what's wrong with you? <laughs> what was that the first thing you got in your mind? Yeah, I just saw it on Twitter. I don't think it's a famous catchphrase. I don't think I'll be unburdened. What can be unburdened by what has been? I don't think it's a catchphrase, Alex. Try the session, who cares? <laughs> Like, welcome to Flavor Town's like a catchphrase, you know? Hey Griffin, you got one? Um You're too slow. See that's good, Alex. See see how that works, Alex? I invited you to work for me, Alex. I'm gonna kiss you, Alex. Why'd you wanna know? Why would you why were you asking for a popular catchphrase anyway? Just because. Lord, we're selling it! Please don't grief me! I say so if someone could grief you and blow it up and you would literally lose all the progress and all the money. Uh, okay, uh, cool. Let's get these wheels shipped to Yusuf. Is that what I'm saying? Well, it's a long drive. 
I told him all about the story behind it. And this is a really nice car, though. He is psyched for real, bro. Your final payment will be reduced on delivery based on the damage to the vehicle. Alright, I'm gonna be really careful then. Because I have a feeling that because it's a $400,000 payment, each crash is going to take it down by like 10 k <clears throat> I have to drive it. I'm the most cautious driver. Griffin. Wow. Jeez. It's very rude. Right, I, I literally just got stuck for a second. In, like, like, in a little tiny mound of dirt where my wheels couldn't touch and I was about to freak out. <laughs> $2,000 gone. No, it's, it's, this was, the, this is it already. Like, that nine, 398 is what, I was saying 400,000 because, uh, rounding up. Yeah. This is a stupid price though, just give me 400,000. <laughs> You suck on Yusuf's toes and when you get there he gives you the extra 2,000. <laughs> I'm careful the entire way there and then I accidentally rear end someone and like it blows up. <laughs> <laughs> If you got like $400,000, what's the first thing you would do with it? Save it a bit. After you save... Invest in Bitcoin. After you we're put... Actually, I think we were talking about that in the car, and if you could like go back in time... I was like saying, like if you could go back in time and like say like one thing to yourself... Like from like... When you were like 10 or something... And I like wouldn't tell... Google. I wouldn't tell anything about, like, I wouldn't tell myself anything about if you tried to be like, BUY BITCOIN! <laughs> no, I'd just be here. <laughs> for how long Bitcoin was good for? I don't think it's Jeez. still... <laughs> Depends on the Bitcoin. Depends on how many bits the coin is in. I got into a little accident, by the way, but he only took off a couple hundred. I think you could actually get more money from doing... Putting in, uh, like buying, like, as, get, I guess you'd have to convince your parents to buy, put as much money as possible into GameStop stocks right before that happened. Dude, that shit was crazy. Could you convince your parent? could 10 year old you or whatever convince your parents to do it? Fuck yeah. I don't have to be 10. <clears throat> I don't have to be 10. I can make enough money in high school to do that shit. Well, yeah, you you're missing the point of the situation. Maximize profits. Uh, I guess it. Yeah, I guess it. You still max out. Yeah, whatever. But. Yeah, I can definitely see someone with an oppressor fucking raping you while you're driving that, and just be like, no, and like, yeah, I would kill myself <laughs> probably. I can see someone with an oppressor doing that to you all the time. <laughs> I can imagine anything. <laughs> that is what you see when you close your eyes. And you imagine me getting raped when you close your eyes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> By an oppressor. Oops. My friend. Did you guys get paid at all from there? Uh, I didn't get anything. 
I you sold it for. Thousand. Yeah, I think that was just for you then. Okay, so if you had four hundred thousand dollars and you couldn't put it in the bank, like a Sugar Mountain Tree situation, what's the first thing you spend it on? Right now. Is it like I had to spend all of it and like can't keep any? Yeah. Well, yeah, but okay. Yeah, I'm just asking what the first thing is. I just put that stipulation to you. I would buy something stupid. I would buy like a shit ton of Legos. I would probably get a couple of Legos up in there, but I think my first thing that I would buy is I guess probably a car. I wouldn't get like a fucking like crazy car. I would just like get a nice, pretty nice car. Maybe. I would get like a pretty nice car. But yeah, are that we still house. are we still going back in time, or is it just like four hundred thousand dollars right now? No, that was a different thing. Just oh. like right now, just like getting for Like I would just like get myself like the new like one of like the newest like Toyotas or something. I think you get a if you get a. I, would, I guess the house price. Is gone. I would start a business. You four hundred thousand dollars and to start a business. Yes, it is. What business are you going into? Oh, crack dealing. I guess that might be enough. <laughs> <laughs> Four hundred thousand is definitely enough to start a business. I can make, make it work. <laughs> it depends on the business. If you're like actually like planning on like owning a building or not owning a franchise or something. Well, you don't need a gu to start a business. You don't need to buy a fucking it is, office it is cheaper first. Cheaper than ever to start a business on this. Like you can yeah. get a website domain and then well, like no. get someone to like yeah. get shirts or something for you. Yeah, and you can do that from home. But yeah. I'm saying if you were to actually get a, like a real business. What the oh, fuck's so a real business? Online, but, so people that online, uh, online <laughs> 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 What are you talking about? Like you're on crack, man. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> why did his car just- why did he just blow up like that? I think this car was like allergic to the beach. I think this car was allergic to sand. So, let me get- There's a food truck by my house. Are they? So, let me just make it, cl make it, make it clear. You don't believe online businesses are real businesses? I just, I'm, that wasn't the type of business I was talking about. And when you say, I'm going to start a business, what are you, that's why I asked, what are you going to do? Sell crack online. You can't sell crack online. I bet you can. You can, it's probably not in the, um, probably not on the surface web. <laughs> but, like. You can do, like, I don't know, you can sell, like, <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I, maybe you could like probably you could probably like bypass the FDA because like nutritional supplements like the I FDA is like shit. really stupid. They have like really lax like uh, regulations on like like health supplements or whatever. <laughs> so like you could probably like get away with putting crack in those. Yeah, I th I feel like then you're losing money because crack is expensive. You can charge people a lot of money for it. Like cults sell like those. Like that's how that's how like some cults make their money. Is they sell crack? Oh, nutritional supplements are really expensive. They probably also sell crack. Hey, need some vitamins? No, just crack. Come on back. Being a four hundred, four hundred thousand dollars is plenty to fucking um, to start a business. Fuck the office space. Start business, dick. Come on, this is fucking Los Santos. Where are the fucking crazy ass fucking cars? Or any car. The cheapest businesses to start may cost as little as twelve thousand initially, there but other go. businesses like restaurants can run from four hundred thousand or more. How the fuck would you want to run a restaurant? Cause there's money in food. And plus, you don't need. Oh, yes, I haven't found any. <laughs> <laughs> I think running a restaurant would be cool. 
I, Running I, a I, restaurant would be honest. hard as fuck, Alex. I gotta be honest. I feel like you're all you're. I feel like you're in the minority, just in general. It's not, like hearing someone say they're gonna start a business and thinking that they're going to start like a fucking brick and mortar shop immediately. <laughs> I, I, I just like think most are online uh, Giovanni won't give me a serious answer besides crack, and he's not gonna sell crack. Bitch, I can sell my crack. That's what would you sell? You can sell anything. It's. All right, I want to sell vapes. I don't think you can sell those online. <laughs> I haven't had enough little kids. <laughs> if I could sell I mean, vapes, I don't think you have to sell them. If, I could, sell, if I could sell alcohol, uh, I could sell fucking vapes online. You might I think have, you you have, have to sell to them through a bigger license. producer. You probably have to get them. To, uh, maybe yeah. we'll sell them, but you probably have to get some sort of licensing and stuff to be like. That comes with like a lot of businesses. Yeah, but I have a thing. It's probably like it's it's like a drug product technically. So First of all, it's not a drug. We don't. It's like some other shit. We don't know what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the American cheese version of that is one of my favorite memes ever. <laughs> Alex, how much money do you think you need to start a fucking business? Two billion dollars, Giovanni. You have fun with that. <laughs> You can start a business with, with like with like less than like two grand. I think you're both a little bit. Two grand. <laughs> what yeah, are you doing like, for two I mean, grand? Two grand could probably. I just looked it up <laughs> online. On Who just put a body on you? Oh. Two grand is not enough to start a business. So I just say, looked it up so, online. So say and so, a, so say you want to. Two grand is enough to. Probably like run your own Etsy shop and then end up. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say like. I don't like, think Etsy shops are legally considered businesses. They are and businesses. I'm saying that like, they, like under the assumption of like, oh, you already like make shit and you could like, run like an Etsy shop or something and you buy your own company and shop or website to sell stuff on. See? Epstein's always on this guy's mind. What? It does. Etsy. Well, you said Epstein. Yeah. I thought Grandpa said Epstein's always on this guy's mind. I'm like, okay. Yeah. Epstein is always on this guy's mind because he brought him up first. <laughs> Giovanni, do you even know that you need a business license to operate a business? No fucking shit, Alex. That's stupid. It's a part of. I forgot how how much how expensive it is. If you're doing it specifically for profit, apparently it's not. It's well, let's say you're doing it for fun and you get profit on the side. Yeah, for that you. Yeah, but that shit's easy though. So you, why do you why are you running this like food truck out here? It's like oh for fun. The money is just a bonus. There's a lot of shit you gotta pay for. I gotta, dude. I gotta. What's weird is I got a shit brun and it like like my asshole is hot before like the shit's actually touched it. It's like preheating the oven or something. <laughs> it's not. Like, you're gonna interrupt the rest of the, like, the current conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah, even. See, I don't think you actually need like a license on it. By the way, my asshole is like burning. <laughs> He's trying to run away from this conversation. Uh, I'm not trying to run away from this conversation. But like, mm -hmm. I'm just saying, like, like this conversation will have to how end much, in a minute. You know what? How much does it cost to uh, to buy? A Domain. Let's say, let's, let's ask Google Squarespace that. Squarespace is like. How much to buy a domain? Let's go to any say. Compare. Compare. Probably like a couple hundred dollars or something. Alright, it's cheaper than I thought. But, um. Uh huh. How much did you think that buying. Like, yeah, well, there are a lot of websites here. How much do you think that it costs? I figured it'd be like hundred dollars. How much was it? A month. Uh, it depends on what ending you're going with, but if you're going with the either dot store, which is one ninety nine for the first year. There you go. Then what? And then how much after? See, running a the hardest part about running a business. It's sometimes not setting it up. It's just like keeping it up. Sometimes you run into it's certain problems. So, sometimes there's like fucking problems oh, yeah, you run into. Less than I thought too. Uh, 
I figured that it was like a hundred dollars a year or something. I mean, like, but then you also have to account for. Okay, actually, you know what? Here's a question I didn't even think about. I don't know why I didn't think about it earlier. Could you run a business, Giovanni? <laughs> yeah. You could account for like small. I'm, you're not I, taking I into account if it, if it, like, 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 very like, small. Yeah, I was gonna say if, if, if it's a small, small then yeah. Can just literally be like a shop online that you run. Yeah, and so no and and, and if it does get big enough, all I need to do is hire like maybe like one or two people, and if it's as then big. You have to make labor and, rights. Yeah. You're like immediate top, yeah, you're immediate top was like, I buy a business was like that he would be owning like a full scale yeah. like restaurant on Main Street or something. <laughs> like, I don't like, like your, boy... your first thought was like the your first thought was like he's like Jeremy Allen White like the bear. <laughs> like, well, when when you hear when you hear business is your first thought you go to Etsy. Yes. My first thought is like an online store or something. Yes, that's exactly what I'm thinking. All right, you. Zoomers, I guess. Maybe that's the problem. Fire me so I can kill you. <laughs> Fire me so I can kill you. I just say that's your fucking boss. Sorry, me so I can kill you. you. I don't give a fuck. 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 I wish I could take your shotgun and fuck you with it. <laughs> what you laughing at? You're my bounty. And the, okay, but also, now that I've entertained this enough, isn't there like, there's like so many other ways to make, to spend your $400,000 besides starting a business? Yeah, but I want to maximize like my money. Okay. You uh, can go into the stock market, but that's a fucking pain in the ass. I feel like it'd be easier to go into the stock market than it would be to... It would not be uh, easier. How would it not be easier? Well, what it's happens is it's putting your money and waiting. It's a, shit, it's a shithole. <laughs> well, I know, it, I it's a, I, yeah, I don't know that anything is ever going to happen. With it's it. just that it's just I that know your it, business isn't going to stop for selling vapes online to kids. It's, it's just that like. <laughs> oh, okay. You're telling me that you think that a selling vapes to kids business would go poorly? They would eat that job. <laughs> how well, how old are we talking? Like <laughs> nine months old. <laughs> <laughs> Exclusively. <laughs> I'm outside, I'm outside the emergency or uh, I'm outside the maternity ward. <laughs> literally oh, in the second. maternity ward. You're in like the NICU. You're like what? Well, you're waiting for them to bring like primo va preemie babies in. <laughs> He's trying to sell them vapes, and then it's like, sir, we need to put him in the oxygen tank. He can't breathe. <laughs> like, Replacing the oxygen <laughs> with. <laughs> I can breathe with this. Getting him uh, addicted early. You guys, uh, you clearly don't understand. That's what this is for. Eh? Oh my god, I just killed a cop. <laughs> I'm not doing this business battle, are you kidding me? Hit me. Hit me. Hit me. I don't know how I didn't just hit you. You did hit me, I just fell over. Not enough, clearly. My car happened to be on fire, I guess. Happened to be? Didn't say you killed me, so I clearly wasn't you. Alright, let's make it more realistic then. Let's say you won a thousand dollars. I would just hold on to it. Because you can't that hold point... on to it! I'm able to go into this building over here. What is this building? It's how it's the special. It's like the car meet thing. Sure. Oh my god! This dude took personal offense to me shooting at you. Oh, I started a gang war. Where did he go? <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> Shit! <laughs> One thousand dollars! What happened? Blood How much that? What would you do for a thousand? What would you do for a thousand dollars? Not what would I do for a thousand dollars? It's not like I'm getting a thousand dollars. All right. Well, what would you do for a thousand dollars? I don't know. What are my what are my what are my options? Anything in the world. I, I would 
fucking blast a baby in the face. <laughs> With what? <laughs> what I ask? <laughs> Would the jail fist. time be worth it? Oh shit, I get punished for doing it? <laughs> I thought I was just a fucking money. I thought I'm just getting the fucking money if I do it. I mean, there is like that thing. Like, would you slap a baby for? It's like I would kill a baby for a million dollars, for like a thousand dollars, honestly. Oh my god, you guys are with, and with no moralist. Money. If there was no, if there was no money. moralist heathens. Are you telling me you wouldn't beat the shit out of a baby? If there was no. If there was no laws, you would start assaulting people, assaulting if women. There was so. If there, if there were, if there were, if there were no laws, if, if, if there was no laws if, here, if, that was if a lot of people doing that shit. Bounties on babies was what you would do. <laughs> I yeah, would fuck be yeah. a baby bounty hunter in an instant. Fuck <laughs> yeah! Torch a little fucker. <laughs> Get over here! I'm gonna beat you with a wrench. My Yakuza style. Well, you got anything else about starting a business, Alex? I just think that there would be easier ways to make money. Invest in a business. Well, yeah, but then it's... It's Go less... Shark Tank and it's, be like, it's I have less... dollars and Mark Cuban would, like, beat the shit out of you right there. <laughs> There's... It's the same... It's almost the same as the stock market. You can't really determine or have any control go. over how much money you make. Also, I, I don't think I understand how <laughs> much <laughs> money... What if that happened to Kiryu? How would Kiryu react? How would Kiryu be able to take that out? The dragon drop negates all damage. Also, uh, you need to invest a lot of money I into the stock market to like... I would, me, I would go with Jude and I would combine my $400,000 with Jude and then we would we would make a bigger Jude, business. You, you know what, I don't think Jude would want to do a business with you. <laughs> I don't think Jude would want to do a business with you. Me and Jude have talked about doing a business before. Yeah, he's wanted to kill you. I don't see why he had to, he had to lure me into a fossil security. <laughs> he made you, he made you spend like $400,000 into a fossil this security. He's like, he's just, he's like, uh, in, oh he's, he's just in court. Oh, in, you've got, you guys talked about starting up a business in sixth grade, and you took that as still like being a standing thing. No, guys, no, we were talking I'm about saying, starting up a business I, in sixth grade. Of course you would. I was, you know? I was under the impression from what Giovanni was saying that he was like being my friend as a long time to kill me. <laughs> no, we talked somewhat recently about like doing, seeing, like, would he be interested in doing like a food truck thing? That is so fucking hard, guys. Giovanni, what? How is a food truck harder than running a vape shop online? What do you mean? Like uh, running like a, a Slurpee truck? Because I don't think a Slurpee yeah. truck is a thing. It can yeah, be. It, That's what we're gonna have. Uh, they did have something like that at uh, Walmart for a minute, really for like a few days. It wasn't. A, it was a Slurpee. I, I, there my was, idea uh, was. My idea was Giovanni couldn't do it because he's not allowed there anymore. But my idea <laughs> why was. Why not be allowed there anymore? Would be to make some. My idea was to make some sort of deal with the uh, IRS, with the uh, RHS people, and then after school sell stuff there in the parking lot. You started touching yourself after I killed you. I started before. As soon as I started talking about RHS. Sixteen-year-old mm, girls. I don't. Again, uh, like. Dude, green wizard running around. Dude, running, running, running food's hard, man. I'm telling you. It won't be running. So where's we'll the, be fun, selling where's it. the fun in this? I'm gonna fucking blast you, Alex. Like, like, don't get me wrong. It can be fun. It's just really fucking hard. Running a vape shop is way easier. I don't have to be fucking staining around eight hours a day or however long you it needs to be open. Don't you have any morals? I'm bringing joy to children. You're selling death to them. I'm bringing them joy, bitch. You could be fucking poisoning them for all I know. Maybe the fucking taco stand ain't doing so well. Now you're selling fucking heroin. I never said I was selling tacos. I was making up an example, man. Fine, you sell fucking burgers and you accidentally threw black tar heroin into the fucking BBQ sauce that you throw on. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what black tar heroin looks like. I don't know what heroin looks like, my bad. Alright, I don't remember what it looks like. 
Get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> I think they, that's like, is there one stuff you have to like, put in the spoon in the burn or whatever? No, it's crack. I bet you Giovanni is going to argue with me about this. Expert over here. Oh, that's and Giovanni the was the one starting a crack. It's, uh, it's called a crack spoon. <laughs> I'm sure that it is, man. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? What do you mean, what are we doing? We're entering a police station. We're sitting around and I'm blowing cars up because I figured that we would be done by now. But you guys have been talking about starting a business. Hold on, I've been fucking finger popping trying to get a car, man. Being homeless sucks ass. What? I said I've been trying to get a fucking car. Being homeless sucks ass. No, you said you said other stuff. Being homeless sucks ass. Get away from me! <laughs> Are we going to one of these police stations? No, it's just like a random public event thing that they're doing. Oh. This would kill me. That was a oh! Oh yeah, you guys are going to the gym tomorrow, aren't you? Oh, uh, actually, I'm not sure if I am, actually. Well, you better figure that out! I, have a, I can drive tomorrow, so it doesn't really matter if he doesn't go. It's not that I don't want to go, it's just that I think I have to do it, something to do tomorrow. What are you, why, why are you being so secretive about it? You sound crack? You sound crack Me? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just, not, I'm just not sure what it is. I just know like I might have to get up early. I'm just not sure for what. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know what it is? I don't know. I sometimes, dude, you know what I, you don't understand. Sometimes I get up and I'm told like I'm going somewhere and I'm like, okay, I guess so. Okay, but how do you know in advance that they're going to tell you to do that? <laughs> Cause it happens before. You know how many times my parents would be like, hey, we're going somewhere tomorrow, and I'm like, car accidents. And I'm like, okay, and then I find out, like, as soon as I get up where we're going. The amount of fucking, the amount of fucking times my, like, my parents say, yeah, we're going somewhere. And then, like, me getting up, thinking we're going somewhere, like, I don't know, to, like, the mall or something. And then we're going to, like, I don't know, like, swimming somewhere. And I'm like, I have no idea where any of my swim shit is, man. I got $2,000 for good behavior. You're like a parasite. Get away from me. But uh, are you serious? We, you, you would actually want to start like a food truck business? I thought it would be fun. Alex, it's more hard than fun. How like, do you the, know? like, like the fun would be like in how hard it is. How do you know? Well, I didn't. I never owned a restaurant, but I'm sure has worked in one and it fucking sucked ass. <laughs> so most times. <sighs> that was all this. We were just talking about it. You guys got gotta be some negative. I'm not being negative. I'm just being a little realistic. Uh, being completely negative. You don't want to talk about realism when you think, oh yeah, I could run a vape shop, no problem. I wouldn't have a problem! An online one, no. I think would get I mean, arrested. I think the, Why would I get arrested? Is specifically, like, how unregulated they are. They're probably, they might be more now, but... That's why every single 14-year-old at RHS has had one. <laughs> I also wanted to do something to bring joy to people. Not crash. So fucking out of Black brings joy to people too, it's just temporary. <laughs> All things are temporary in this bleeding life. Exactly, so just do crack. Everybody's gonna crack and do crack, they got a fucking giant grin on their face, man. <laughs> life is short, do crack. That could be his <laughs> motto. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how to design a website? Oh I don't need to. Squarespace makes it easy. Just use my link at the bio. <laughs> Squarespace. I don't think Giovanni can operate Squarespace. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I forgot what Squarespace Squarespace says. What the fuck is that? It's is that another? It's the, it's the website where you make your own website, or whatever. 
I was gonna say like there's a whole bunch of other website that that teaches you and or just built a website for you There's this website to teach you how to run a food truck Not as well as uh, just how to build a fucking website man there's business courses Building a website is, I would uh, have to assume, nine thousand percent easier. I think <laughs> Alex. I think truck. I think I think Alex imagines like running a food truck as like walking in the fucking doors, clapping hands on leaving. No, I just imagine it as actually doing something that people would enjoy. And plus, you gotta make a good food, by the way. I was. What are you even talking about? Actual food. We and you talked about. It. We were talking about like selling like slushies and stuff. Well, that works too. Okay. Why that's so well, interconnected? Logistically, this is what I'm thinking, like in that concept. I feel like what would happen is because is this like a, the I is like what is the idea that like RHS people like pay you? No, I would pay, so, like, I'd, like, there? give them a percentage of the cuts or whatever. Okay, that makes more sense. And see, that's another thing, too, in like, mind, you don't perc you don't set up that percentage, they do. But, but not and my process, so, my I could sell it, like, just off, is, off campus or whatever. <laughs> if, the if, if the demand was there, instead of, like, just like, take a cut, why would they not just be like, yeah, we'll put a slushy machine in the cafeteria, and then we'll just take all the money. Do you think... <laughs> Sorry, Chess, for put, put a slushy machine in the cafeteria. I didn't realize there was money to be made, maybe. I don't think they would. I don't think they're legally allowed to. You know, anywhere to set up something like that would be like a fucking to college. Take money? I feel like once it, that in general just kind of already sounds like an under like the under the desk like deal. <laughs> but like you like just be like, yeah, it's you. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Like, that already doesn't sound very legal. I mean... Yeah, but... Why, you think Windot is built on... Yeah, Alex, why not do it a little more legal than do it at a college? You are trying to sell vapes to 14-year-olds! I'm just... No, I, never said, I, never, I never said any of that. I am just said I'm just opening up a website and selling vapes. Whoever fucking grabs one, that's on them. You are a bad person. Honor system for a vape shop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think like just, there's there's so many legal issues that come with that that I don't think you would be able to you do. It's not my fault. That's why my idea part, yeah, partially relied on Jude because Jude I'm sure would be able to handle it better. Your idea is just like your idea is making Jude run a fast food truck for you then. No. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> She's so critical. I would do most of the work. I just for legal uh, stuff. I'm just saying, whatnot. like, a, like, can you agree with me? Running a shop online is a thousand times easier than running one in person. Yeah, but you're barely even running a business then. It's like okay. So now people that own shop business online businesses aren't real business owners. We're back to this fucking point, viewpoint again. <laughs> I'm back to this. I'm not saying they aren't real business owners. I'm just saying that it's like, what enjoyment are you getting out of it? You're just doing it for profit. The fuck are you doing a business for to begin with, bitch? That's what it's for. And plus, enjoyment. That's the whole reason I even brought it up to you. Everybody. And plus, and plus, it's not about the physical location. It could just be about what the fuck you're selling. You could That's enjoy what. what you, uh, you could enjoy making what you're doing. <laughs> exactly. exactly. He's talking about vapes. Do not say exactly. I'm. That's just an example, bitch. You can do anything. You couldn't name a single other example besides vapes and crack. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you can sell anything. You can sell like art. You can sell fucking anything. Pottery. People do, and they enjoy making it. Yeah, but it's I about it's about what, it's about it it's about what they make. It's a it's okay, versus the physical like location. If I liked making art and I was good at it, I would sell it online. Yeah. Like, yeah, but be a real business owner then. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I'm doing what I enjoy. Alex, you are a real business owner, Alex. Being a real business owner is about is about owning something. It's not just about a fancy fucking building. I'm not saying it's attached to the building. I'm just saying it's just it doesn't feel as real. And plus, you don't have to worry about like fucking renting out a physical location either. I 
flash you one bitch in the back and I'm like, oh, okay, they're, they're almost gone. I'm just trying to terrorize people. That's what I've been doing. I just think I'm more concerned about enjoying what I'm doing in life. Oh! Yeah. Because if I ended up stuck in a job that I hated for the rest of my life, it would kill me. Come on, why do the cops gotta ruin everything? 